about four or five years ago, I got a, a notice, a written notice, demand for payment from a company I'd never heard of. It was for medical bills, which weren't mine. So Spicer did what any good consumer would do. He sent the debt collection company a certified letter saying this debt's not mine. But the harassment didn't stop. Every couple weeks I'd hear from them. And I would dispute the bill with whoever called to stop calling me. Didn't work. They still kept calling. At his wit's end, Spicer turned to Sonia Smith-Valentine, an attorney specializing in debt collection harassment. The calls that I'm getting are from people who are going, I'm getting calls from debt collectors, I'm getting harassed because I'm behind on my bills, I'm getting calls at work where they're harassing me about you know, paying debts or that I have to pay them immediately, and those kinds of calls have increased tenfold. According to the Federal Trade Commission, more consumers complain about debt collectors than any other industry. Industry, it's been the number one consumer complaint for the last nine years. If someone has never heard from a debt collector before and they're getting the calls, you say they have rights. What are they? Absolutely. I believe people should pay their debts that they owe. However, you're entitled to be treated with respect. And there are lots of rules that are in place that the debt collectors have to follow in trying to get you to pay your debt. There are federal rules that debt collectors must follow. They cannot lie about the amount of money you owe. They can't repeatedly call just to annoy you. And they can't harass or abuse you. They're not allowed to embarrass you. They're not allowed to talk about your debt with third parties. They're not allowed to threaten you with like arrest or things of that nature. To stop a debt collector in its tracks, all you need to do is pick up a pen. There is such a thing called a cease and desist letter. You can send a letter to the debt collector that says, please cease all communication with me. And the debt collector has to honor that letter. If they ignore your request, you have the right to sue the debt collector. You can get up to $1,000 in statutory damages. You can get actual damages for any emotional distress they cause. And you get your attorney's fees and cost paid. Nice. Yeah. If you're dealing with a debt collector, Valentine says, remember to check your credit report. The credit bureaus report information as early as 30 days late. So if something is on day 31 unpaid, that could start reporting on your credit report because the time, the shortest time frame is actually 30 days late. That's short. Yes, it is. George Spicer says he's lucky his dealings with debt collectors haven't tarnished his credit report, but he'd like to see even stronger consumer protection laws to stop abusive behavior by debt collectors. Right now it's an uphill battle for the consumer, and it really shouldn't be. Liz Crenshaw, News 4, Washington.